Hello again. All right, so we're continuing on uh, with the accounting cycle. This is going to be step three of the accounting cycle. Relatively short video, I believe. Uh, it's going to be uh, for uh, posting to the ledger. The third step of the accounting cycle. Posting to the ledger, otherwise known as posting. Um, so the ledger. What is the ledger? There is a general ledger. There are also subsidiary ledgers. So. Uh, a ledger is just a running balance of each account under the individual elements. So, as it says here, it has all the asset, liability, and stockholders equity accounts, okay? And now there are many different ledgers here, okay? One for equipment, cash, supplies, accounts receivable, cumulative depreciation, uh, interest payable, notes payable, accounts payable. So, for all the accounts, all the respective accounts have a respective uh, ledger okay for each account then there are subsidiary ledgers for maybe like accounts receivables for different uh, customers and stuff like that those are subsidiary ledgers we'll get into that as we progress through this world of accounting you gotta you gotta dive into it you gotta smell that uh, shit right anyways this is what a ledger looks like okay so this is a cash ledger up here we have uh, the number for the account from the um, chart of accounts, right? That we created. Uh, looks very similar to a uh, journal, right? Except there is one more column. Okay, so here we have a date. Okay, that comes from the journal. Okay, so what happens is for each account you go through the journal. Uh, it's computerized now, but you know back in the day you would go through the journal and for every time you see cash, okay. It was a corresponding date, then you put the date, and then you transfer whatever happened in the journal to um, the ledger, the respective ledger account. So I would go through the journal and look at all my cash transactions and transfer that to the cash uh, ledger account, okay? So here we have a date, we have an explanation. So an explanation, you can explain what happened. Okay, bought something, something, issued stock. But that already happens in the journal. So there is really, that's why this is blank over here. Okay, then there is a reference column. Now the reference is different from the journal. The reference for the ledger uh, comes from the journal pages. Okay, whereas the reference in the journal comes from uh, the chart of account number for that um for that account or it could come from the um, the number uh, for that account in the ledger as you can see here so this would be uh, number 101 for cash that would be used as a reference every time you book a cash transaction uh, in the journal and then the reference in the ledger comes from uh, the journal page was it page one two three four of the journal so that way you can uh, trace back and see uh, if you need to double check something or whatever then you have a debit and credit okay whatever happens in the journal these columns are going to be uh, the same debits and credits so um, if you credited cash for the transaction on June 1st don't change it just transfer it as a debit to the debit column uh, in the respective ledger account uh, and, and to the debit column okay if there was a credit to cash uh, as it is here on june 2nd then just transfer it from the journal to the ledger as a credit in its respective column for that amount okay now the extra column in the ledger that separates the ledger from the journal is this balance okay so the balance is you got to be aware of the normal balance of these accounts so in this case we have cash cash as you know is an asset assets increase on the debit side decrease on the credit side so for this initial transaction uh, June 1st let's say that uh, it was a common stock transaction just starting this company issued cash uh, or received cash in exchange for issuance of common stock so cash in this case was debited so um, at June 1st, that is our only transaction, so we transfer that to the balance, okay? Notice the balance does not have a debit or credit uh, designation. You're just going to have to be aware that cash account, it's a debit, uh, should have a normal debit balance. So this 25000 initially is at 25000 running debit balance, positive balance in cash, okay? Now, in the second 
on June 2nd, there may have been a purchase, okay, or I think it was that truck uh, in the previous example from the other video. So in this case, uh, we credited cash for 8000 We must have paid something, right? Uh, cash of 8000 So that is a credit. So what happens is you take the 25000 the previous balance, minus this credit in this case, okay? Minus 8000 and then you get a new running balance of 17000 okay? 17000 that's the new running balance on uh, June 2nd after this transaction has been posted, the 8000 Now, if this 8000 was positive, then you would add the 8000 to the 25000 and get 33000 okay? But in this case, it was a credit, okay? So then... You keep this pattern going. So now you have a running balance of 17000 Then on June 3rd, you had uh, you received cash of some amount uh, for 4200 4200 4200 So in this case, you take your latest balance, 17000 and add the debit in this case because it was a debit, an increase in cash. And then you get a new balance of 21200 And then you keep doing the same pattern. You take your latest balance, 21200 in this case, and uh, you have another transaction on the 9th, 7500 which was a debit. Debits increased cash. So you add that and you come up with a new balance of 28700 Bam. Okay. Then you take your latest balance, 28700 And in this case, we had a transaction on the 17th that was a credit to cash of 11700 So we subtract that and we get a new balance, latest balance, updated balance of 17000 And this continues and continues and continues, okay? So you got to be aware of the normal balances of these accounts. And... You got to add or subtract depending on the transaction that you transferred, posted from the uh, journal. Okay. Um, moving on, here's, here's I think, the example that they had initially. Um, not 25000 initially, but the 15000 This is what we were working on in the previous, um, the previous video. Uh, go check that out. Um, so... We issued common stock in exchange for cash. Um, this is a journal, the first part here, general journal, tongue twister. And you can see the page number there, J1, have the reference, the amounts. So we debited cash, credited common stock, 15,000, 15,000. These 15,000 amounts transfer to the respective uh, ledger accounts. In this case, there are only two accounts, cash and common stock. So we make up a ledger for cash. Okay. We have the date, transfer the date from the journal. Bam. Okay. The reference is just the journal page, uh, journal one, page one. And then here, cash was debited for 15000 So guess what? I'm going to transfer that 15000 to the debit column in the uh, cash ledger. And then my running balance is a 15000 positive. Okay, debits increase cash. So my running balance, I'm aware that it's a positive balance. Common stock. Again, we have the date. The reference is still um, page one. And in this case, we credited common stock for 15000 So I'm going to transfer that to the credit column uh, of common stock, uh, the common stock ledger, and then transfer that to uh, the running balance of 15000 And I'm aware now that it's a credit balance because it's credit, credit, okay? And that's how it goes. You got to be aware of these uh, normal balances of these accounts. And that's all you have to do for that. Uh, so hopefully that made sense as far as um, posting to the ledger. And eventually we'll have a comprehensive problem that explains all this stuff. But for now, um, you know, just review these videos and hopefully they're helpful to you. Okay. Next time we'll move on to step four, then steps five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll repeat this whole stuff uh, again. Repetition is key in accounting, so just be aware of that. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, share, uh, go tell your friends about it. Okay, peace.